sausage, beef chicken with uh, a beef stir fry, grilled tomatoes, and potatoes. I have my coffee. Miss Beverly reminds me of like an aunt, you know, that takes care of you. No, honestly, like, like my you pull me, you pull me out the sun. Yeah, because, because let me take sense. care of you. It doesn't make sense that you sit on the on the table. Kind of Where are you from, Antigua? Dominica. Dominica. Really? You know Dominica next? Oh yeah, I like Miss Beverly. A lot of Dominica friends. So babe, as you were saying, he's Uncle Trev yeah, and everybody so Uncle on the trip. Yeah, right? Like, that's just the name. I try to introduce myself to like, oh, that's Uncle Trev. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, I'm sure you're the uncle. I'm like, nah, that's my uncle too, that's Uncle Trev. But I'll try and tell him. When you're the uncle, right? So it's like aunties or uncles, aunties are supposed to be like old. And when you're an uncle, I mean, you might be old, but you're cool, so you consider the uncle, uncle smooth. You know what I'm saying? So it's like no matter what age you get, you got coolness about you, so you're just an uncle. Yeah. You know what I mean? But when you're an auntie, it's like you're watching the kids, you're holding the purse. He got, he got some nerves, y'all. I mean, I got it from the house. And auntie is cool, okay? Yeah. All the housewives of Atlanta are cool. So this is a passion fruit orange mimosa. And I will say, this mimosa, Miss Beverly recommended it. And it's really good. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hundred million and nothing for we draw down. I'm eyes and you know it's a bitch That's the song. Gorgeous entrance. Down to pave my way to a brighter day. And lately, I've been stuck inside. Wanna feel the sunshine. One last time, oh. Something like this, I would probably be the guest who doesn't want to be bothered. <laughs> <laughs> Only because it's like to me, I feel like it's a little strange, like always having to call on somebody to do something. But when you have money, that's why we keep on interviewing my guests when you can watch them. So, what's your take? All right, so listen. Don't get me wrong, it's nice. But right now, just me, my entire, I wouldn't spend $3,000 for that. Right? Because, one, it's still hot. <laughs> Nobody ain't in it, but that's probably why. But yeah, it's nice. But for hair, the place, if it's like somewhere super exotic and super crazy, 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 still so close to guests, still like I could be on my balcony and people on the beach could see me. I ain't spending three thousand dollars for that. If I stay in something like that, I want everyone to be naked, out in a swing on a hammock, just chilling. Mm -hmm. Not being nasty, just that's what that luxury should give me. You see what I'm saying? That's my feeling. Thank you. Alright, so for all sea grape rookies, put a pixie grape and then just go bring some off with the hand. What you do is you pick a barley and you roll it like a cone. Alright? And you pick your sea grapes. Usually, you get a whole bunch, that's right. So you pick your sea grape and you load up the cone. Oh, God, go in there, put the Look, there's right. some right in here. That's right, hold on, hold on. There? There's a bunch all the way inside there. Yeah, the deeper you go around like that, right? But see how easy that one come off when they're right? When they're right, they come off easy. On the bottom of some of them As he's here picking sea grapes. If you guys know what sea grapes are, leave a comment down below. Tell me, do you put your sea grapes in a leaf cone? Or Matter of fact, do you just pick the, them? Not only do you pick it like this, this is how they sell them. When you buy them on the road. Who would really buy sea grapes when you can't pick it? Because it's season all the time you walk through the road and you see them and they sell them. Oh. With, um, with, with bread nut, the rose bread nut. So then pretty much, this is the end result. Guys, and you just go to the ocean, and you scoop through and the water funnel out, you scoop through the water funnel out, you scoop through the water funnel out, you shake up a few you times. Do you show them? 
when we done eat. I don't feel like walking my uncle's ocean. I put ocean. it in the cup for now. Yeah, man. Yeah, okay, put it in the cup. We'll leave it in that until he can really show you guys how it's done. We're here for lunch, and I got the spicy fish. Coconut dumpling with sausage and cabbage, barbecue fried chicken, and some fruits. They've got pizza, a bunch of a lot of things. Just a bunch of stuff. And he's enjoying it. Guys, we're back from the pool. I just washed my hair um, and blow dried it. So right now I'm about to put some mousse in my hair so it looks fresh because we had an entire day at the beach and pool, which you would have seen. And now we're getting ready for the welcome party and um, we're super excited because the theme is colorful. And I love a color um, kind of event, um, you know, so I'm wearing color, Babe's wearing tan and white because he feels like he doesn't really want to wear shorts and his colorful outfits are just shorts at the moment so we have the outfits laid out I'm going to show it to you in a bit but we need to get ready because the first shuttle leaves at 5 15 and it's now 4 30. you guys know me um I'm not a big makeup girly so I could put my clothes on and walk out of this room in five minutes but I am going to put some makeup on because I have my vitiligo marks, which I'm sure you guys are probably wondering what the hell is wrong with my face. Yeah, so I was told that it, by one doctor that it is vitiligo, and I was told by another that it's not. And they don't know what it is. They're trying to give me some kind of steroid cream, which I am hesitant to use because all of these creams have side effects such as cancer and I am not trying to um, purposely put that on my skin if I could just leave it this way. And my daughter actually inspired me because she has vitiligo. She was born with it. It's on her hands. And so it's spreading. And I remember asking her a few years ago when we first went to the doctor to diagnose this and her hand. And um, I said, do you want to be able to do the treatments, you know, because it's spreading? And she said, no, it makes me unique. And so... I'm going to continue to be inspired by her because if my daughter can do it, so can I. So you guys can stop telling me that I have food on my face. <laughs> Sometimes I'm in person, I'm like somewhere and someone's like, you have food on your face. And I'm like, no, it's just my white spots. But I know they're doing it innocently because they're looking out for me. But yeah, that's what that is. Anyways, my hair's still a little wet, but let's get this ball rolling. Enough talking. I've been down low on my luck, taking every shot, but I can't give up. Oh, I can't see too far ahead. The light in my soul, what I got my head, and maybe all the bricks were falling down. To pave my way to a brighter day And lately, I've been stuck inside Wanna feel the sunshine one last time, oh I Okay guys, we are dressed. This is the outfit if you can see it. And we're heading down. A little sideway view. This is a makeup. Just a simple glow. Hubby, can you come show them your outfit? Uh, can you come show them your outfit? Uh, He's coming. Simple. Boom. Keep it clean, nude, neutral, blended. Keep my style. So we're in the bus now, guys. This is a coastal like back in the day in Jamaica. And the whole bus, 
everybody, scream brown wedding. Brown wedding! You ready to touch on? Yes, sir. All right, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> My music is alright. You good, man. You good? I'm going to call Sonia. I'll talk on the mic for you. I'm going to call Sonia. 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 I'm guys we've made it to the venue and it is so lovely the bay house antigua beautiful you ain't saying you gotta act like it's a lie you trying to play with my emotions but that drink big doesn't lie so drink it up. I was telling money. Yeah. So just make an organized line. She's Jamaican. I was like, she's been to more. They almost carnival. Then Jamaica never, carnival. She was like, carnival, Jamaica? What is that? Okay, so then you definitely <laughs> lost your Jamaican card. And then I told her. Jamaican carnival wait, wait, wait. more late Wait, but I told her. No, no. I told her y'all do. <laughs> I told her y'all do different values. Yeah. In the meantime, while we're waiting on our food, we're going to pass our one time. Yeah, they all got their own route. Exactly. We're going to be here for a good time, right? No, 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 no. Let's go on it up, y'all. Come on. No, it's too much like separate lines. It's not. 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 And if you want, we can walk up on each other. It's not. 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 So drink it up. Want you to tell me that you're mine. So drink it up. Good morning, guys. It is hike day, and we are heading there with nephew and niece say hi y'all so what's up <laughs> y'all gonna do this oh yeah, yes. oh, yeah. all right you know we're not not we're fully prepared but we're gonna try our best <laughs> <laughs> you ready babe oh do you guys know what this is have you ever seen it it's called a sea grape you actually could pick it and eat it but when we come back we'll show you how to pick it and you wash it in the ocean and eat it. You ever try that? I saw a guy eating it yesterday and I said, where you get that from? And then I remember Travis told me about it. It's so early that no one's fully down here yet. 
Oh, People are raking up the sand. Uh, uh, the seaweed gone, I guess. Huh? No seaweed. He's about to try sea grapes. No Which country? Haiti. You tried? Yeah. Is it sour? Sour. But they have right there. Oh. It doesn't taste good? I didn't even try it. I think I tried it once before. I'll put some right one. What's up, what's up, peoples? So, I don't know if y'all can see in the distance, but we're almost there. And this hike is a little adventurous hike because we got to figure out how to even get up there in the first place. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, let's do this, man. Pretty sure we can conquer this mountain. It doesn't look that bad. Yeah, it, this is tiny. <laughs> Fort Barrington is what it's called. I was told that there's a trail that leads up to it. I guess I'm walking to the end of the road back there because I've got all the way down there the other day. All right, so let's see if we figure this out, people. over to get some jelly. Straw? Yeah. Yeah, man. The one mix with yeah. Pitbull. Mm -hmm. Hey, bud. Your baby. Hi, come here. Come. Come. Come, come. Hi. Come. Oh, you're going to your father. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm saying, no, daddy. I, I'm going to come to see Watch him, cute sir. Are you tired that one? Cause he's a bad one. He bites up things. Sorry, I know. He bites up everything. Yeah. And then the other one in the back. He didn't get caught something the yard yet, so. Oh, okay. He but he's. Yeah, he... Oh, you know, Daddy. Vaughn. Let me see where you get the welga. Vaughn gave a mango. And, so up and, so up. and this is his house. So we're going to the beach now. Look at this water, guys. Call the boat. No, we just want to go over there. Yeah. Uh, you can get even okay. Wow, look at this water. You guys, the boat is really coming. Hi. Thank you. Guys, so we're now on the boat. Oh my goodness! Look at this water! 
Oh, he's from Senegal. Yeah, he's oh. our cousin. All right. And he's taking us around. Guys, I actually make it onto the floating bar thanks to Kazo. Got one of my drinks right here, guys. I you in the morning, but I need you now. Currently on the Kantiki, you guys. Look how clear the water is. And you have good views of the beach. You want it. In. Bye, thanks. Drinking a margarita. I forgot what this one was called. Guys, this is a perfect day for a floating bar. But you for sure want to come with like a lot of people. They serve food here too, I think. Like burgers, stuff like that. Guys, they just tell me that they actually have a lobster over here. Let's go look at it. She have lobster? Oh yeah, the food are it. Wow, you grill it. Yeah, yeah. I find why give you why you need me. Okay, so we're about to head back out to the hotel. The wedding is today, and we want to make sure we have time to get pretty and all of those things. So, this was a very good experience, you guys. I wish we could have stayed longer, but we'll be back. Yeah, we made it to the wedding, guys. We made it. It is day five of being in Antigua and I am starting to get tired. Oh my gosh. Like I feel achy from the hike yesterday um, and I haven't even been to the gym but that was obviously a full body workout. Also I'm holding the tripod because Travis broke it and well he didn't intentionally break it. He knocked it over from the table. And so one of the prongs broke. And the last time we were on vacation, our tripod fell while I was filming and broke as well. And so this time I brought two tripods. So obviously I'm prepared for anything. So the other tripod is what we usually put our phone on, but the camera can go on it as well. So that's what I'm gonna transfer this to. So that way, um, we could set you guys down and you could have like a better view than like all up in my face. If I try to do it, no, it's not going to work. And this is the expensive tripod too. This is the Canon one. Yeah, but we've been having a great time, you guys. Like a great time. The wedding was yesterday and you would have already seen it. It was so amazing, so beautiful. And love was just the theme of the day. Like you could tell that they love each other so so much they've been together for 19 years um so that gets me excited today is the catamaran cruise around antigua y'all i'm ready okay so that's i'm trying to go get my tea or coffee or whatever it is i'm gonna drink today and get ready because we have to be on the beach by 8 45 so let's do that with me. Let's just put something on right now. Oh shoot, Travis already laid out his outfit. Okay, we're not matching today though, but okay. Just came from the gym. Breakfast. Breakfast. Morning. Morning. Oh. Right. I don't see it.
Look at him, big little slippers and ting. Walking down to the beach this morning so we could go on our yacht cruise. Morning. Good morning. What kind of drink is this? Orange, pineapple, tropical juice, water. Thank you. <laughs> Alright guys, we made it onto the catamaran. There's a little bit of a cloud above us right now, but we're loading up the boats and getting ready to go. So hopefully this is going to be an, an amazing day on the water. I'm looking forward to jumping into the crystal clear water of Antigua. <laughs> Come, come snorkel. Nee. We're matching in our pink. <laughs> Alright guys, we just stopped to snorkel. Y'all can see I have on my belly thing. Time to go in the water. Everybody getting them stuff on. Oh, we got flip fins too? <laughs> okay. I guess I'll pick one. We're still waiting to anchor you guys. The anchor is giving them problems, so in the words of one of the crew members, we're going to plan C. We went to the first location that had a lot of sea moss. Then we went to the second location, they couldn't find or place the anchor. And now we're going to a third location. Water cold to you? Huh? Water cold to you? If it was pressing, though, I think. I mean, yeah, it's not cold. It's not cold. Look how much people in. Okay, guys, you got to follow the guys. Following Travis. Yeah, yeah, y'all see it. We're snorkeling, but we're about to put you guys away because we trying to have some fun yep. we ain't trying to be out here just catching content all the time <laughs> you know Chicken and fish and the food tastes good for a Sunday, guys. Perfect. Guys, we had a great day, but as you can hear again, the music is playing. We're leaving our last spot right now. We're headed back to the Royal Head, and the sun is stunning right now. We just came back to the hotel and there's a whole pool party. A whole pool party. Guys, we're back. Finally, some peace and quiet you can hear. No music. We just came from the pool. There was a foam party at the pool. And we eaten all the different fruits that we have because okay. tomorrow's our, <laughs> this is it. We gotta eat them. And we ain't trying to get colic tomorrow. So, Travis's cousin gave us a sew us up. Have you guys ever seen 
That's oh, two. Oh my god. It dead now. It dead. This is a bag of Guinness I'm eating. Let me hurry up eat my Guinness because the mango tastes real good. Tastes like a Julie, but it tastes like a different mango too. <laughs> we even have crabs left in the fridge. Guys, if you aren't yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up because you giving us a thumbs up helps YouTube to push our videos. So please, 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 please just stop right now and give us a thumbs up, okay? You have to be signed into YouTube. It helps us a lot. We appreciate you. All right, we're going to go devour these fruits. Hey, mm -hmm. um, sign me that hard. You just do it with your Gmail account. Yeah. You heard him. Signing in is not that hard. Signing with Gmail. Everybody have Gmail. Watch the videos from the Gmail. So we can blow up. I know you guys don't care about that. I mean, we'll show up. You guys have to blow up. We'll show up so that wherever we go, we take care of this. You get to see different cultures, see us eating all of these different fruits, mm -hmm. like this mango. It's shaped like a Julie. Don't fully taste like a Julie mango, but if you know what this mango is called, let us know. Leave a comment down below. Also, one thing I will tell you that I rate a 10 out of 10 here is the painkiller. We got that at Grazi, the Italian restaurant. Got two of them. They were 10 out of 10. What was the pool? I think the pool one was good, but what do you think? It was good, but it, well, it was the first time we had it, so we're like, oh, but it was good. Alpha got an April spritz for the first time. Oh, what? April spritz. That little orange looking drink. Okay. Oh, that they mix with champagne. I ain't having a taste. It tastes like anything. But I've seen it everywhere. The rig. Mm -hmm. The rig. They that's showed good. us, yeah. Mm -hmm. You see it? Oh, that's what it was? The oil rig that we yeah. passed. That's mm -hmm. it right there. Yeah. I got this tank on behind this mountain coming because I see the tank on this one. Yeah. Oh, where? where? That's behind the red roof. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, it's of the night. What you say, mommy? Bye bye. Bye bye. Go eat your food. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Always felt like sticking around the same as being stuck. That's that shit that drives me crazy. And like guns with the aching and getting under my skin. Pretty little young thing. Had a nigga come huffing. Got me too excited. Fish. The fish of the day is jackfish. The fish of the day is lobster fish. And what you see behind me, I'm coming to tell instead of coming, it's going to be seafood because what you see lobster instead of lobster is going to be shrimp and for the vegetable goatee, instead of lentils, lobster is going to be curry, coconut sauce. Oh, that's not good. We just left dinner, you guys. The Caribbean restaurant was pretty good. The chef um, was Jamaican. Yes, I had to say that. The curry goat was really good. Travis so liked his fish. Knew once he said Jamaican. Just imagine the food is good now. <laughs> all you have to hear, the chef was Jamaican, and you already know when it comes to the review of this restaurant, the food is gonna be good because the chef Jamaican. Okay, guys, <laughs> listen, listen to the review now. <laughs>
I would say uh -huh. I rate the experience a nine out of ten. A nine. Yeah. Hi guys, where are you going? We're going into score. Come get a shot. This is the bar that opens on show two. Good morning! It's our last day in paradise, you guys. Our shuttle picks us up at 11 a.m. It's now 6.30 a.m. Our coffee shop opens at 6.30 and breakfast buffet opens at 7. So, I'm gonna go there to go get some coffee first. Then I'm gonna go grab breakfast. Then we're gonna go chill by the beach for like two hours um, until like 9.30 ish and we'll come back and get all of our stuff together. I think what I'm gonna do now is throw all of our dirty stuff in one suitcase and transfer our clean clothes to another suitcase so that they don't kind of mix. So I think I'm gonna do that first before I grab coffee because I don't wanna have a lot to do when we come back from the beach. You guys, I'm gonna miss these sounds of the mornings. And you know what it smells like? It smells like roast breadfruit in the morning. Like somebody's roasting something, which means that people are probably making their breakfast and stuff. Yeah. Anyways, this is it, you guys. This is it. I'm ready to go lounge at the beach. Um, this is what I'm wearing, just some shorts. This is a swimsuit that you could zip all the way up or down. I'm gonna choose to wear it a little down. Yeah, so the bag is pre-packed. We just have to organize our suitcase with the clean clothes and then we'll be ready to get out of here. Hey you. Good morning, good morning from Antigua. So this is literally the last, I haven't called it the last day because we're not even here for the whole day. Last few hours? Woke up this morning, feeling nice. We rested last night. Try to get one to turn up, but nobody could have really turned up. Nobody could have turned up. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you see, you <laughs> Everybody was knocked out from all the water activities yesterday. Like literally, it was the day into the world. To go to the room. Nobody wanted to stay up. And I was ready. Morning. Good, how are you? We're leaving actually. Yeah. Thank you. It was nice meeting you. Maybe all the bricks were falling down to pay my way to a brighter day and lately i've been stuck inside wanna feel the sunshine one last time oh I wanna feel the sunshine hey guys we're in the process of checking out Hey guys, we are now in Antigua Airport. Obviously, you can tell the trip is over. It's been six days of amazing content, amazing time, amazing um, moments with family. It was a vibe. I look chocolatey and beautiful and all of those things because I've been in the sun 
even up until an hour before leaving to come to the airport. So hubby and I are sitting downstairs talking about our content plan because we definitely want to increase the type of videos. Guys, when I tell you, my phone is full of content. I just don't post them. And gone are those days, like my goal is to post as much content as possible, space them out as much as possible if I need to, to just make it feel refreshed and all of that. But we're ready to turn this up another level, right babe? Yeah. We're ready. Tell them what you're drinking. Mango margarita from the hotel. We were like, oh, of course, I'll pull your Stanley Cup. You ain't gonna need another margarita for the day. Nothing. Like, <laughs> that thing strong. So strong. Seems like I can stay at the hotel and drink a little bit of the hotel experience. That was nice of her to do that. I'm gonna drink this Ribena. You guys saw that I bought it the other day when we were downtown. Haven't had a Ribena in forever. But I don't want to throw it away when we go to security. So I'm gonna drink it. This might be in a taste of water, though. Yeah, let me see. Are they frozen? Right? It doesn't. Like, what kind of water dung thing is that? Nasa? Alright, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it, because we sure did. Antigua, owe us nothing. Antigua, we're done. Look out for all the content and videos coming soon. Hope you guys subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed. Share with your friends. Out. Make it with Matthew.